What's up everybody? It's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm. We're going to be back on this room today, uh, cleaning it up some more. First things first though, I have my shovel here. Um, I need to find that water pipe that I broke yesterday because I've got uh, Mr. Daniel, who most of y'all should know, uh, coming out here to uh, actually fix that for me because he has the dyes and stuff to re-thread it and all that good stuff. Um, so I need to find that pipe um, and actually make sure it really is a water pipe. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Um, so I've got my flat shovel here, tractors right here. I'm going to try to dig down and find it. And then we'll just shovel, uh, shovel stuff in the bucket that we want to put in the dumpster anyway. Let's get started. Alright, I definitely found it. It's right here. And that's definitely going to be an active water line. You can see it's got water coming out of it. Um, and it looks like it just kind of rolls on top of the ground. That is the, yeah, that's the end of it right there. Um, so I'm going to assume that it runs back this way and just behind. This wall under there, I see a metal pipe running in that direction. So odds are that's the same metal pipe. So if I get this wall out of the way, um, we will be able to access that a lot easier than this because this end of the pipe is kind of rusty um, and obviously super buried. It's not so much down there. Um, so and besides, we don't need that pipe running all the way out here. If we just cap it over there, we'll be better. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that wall down. So let's give it a shot, see what we can make happen. Okay, so this wall is already super loose anyway. What I did was I grabbed a chain, chained it to the most solid piece of wood up there I could find. And as you can see, it's just ready to fall. I'd like this wall to come down in one piece so I can deal with the drywall as easily as possible. Um, of course, that's probably not going to go the way I want it to, but we'll see. So I get the tractor, back it up real gentle-like, and uh, start pulling that off without, you know, pulling any of the actual house apart. Wow, that was uh, that went exactly like I wanted it to. Um, pulled very cleanly off of the house. Um, I definitely popped some sheetrock off. That's gonna suck, but uh, I mean that looks like it stayed in pretty much one piece. It came down very well. Um, I at first I was just tilting the bucket back, and uh, just the hydraulics pulled it down. Um, there's more water lines coming up right there. I see. So we need to go ahead and get this cleaned up like super ASAP um, so we can reassess this whole water line situation. But good deal. It came down. All right. Mr. Daniel is here to fix the pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Call me when the work begins. <laughs> That's it. So I'm going to have it dug out and ready for you. And it's yeah, not. you got here yeah. earlier than I expected. Oh, yeah. Plus, we're trying to figure out where it goes. So there's a pipe coming from over there, which I assumed fed into this pipe. But Daniel noticed that it goes back down under the ground and then goes that way. We're assuming that way into the bathroom. So you kind of need to know if we're actually going to be able to cap it back there or here or where it goes. It goes back that way? Yeah, it turns. It goes that way. Well, that's weird. It could 
could be going so, to that. This was the add-on. So I'm wondering if they tied on to something over there and like laid a line and stubbed it under right here, maybe. Could be there's a outside faucet over there. Ooh, yeah, maybe they tapped it on and then laid it here before they put the brick in. And maybe right. they couldn't get under maybe they didn't do it for the they put the house. I don't know. Figure out that something. Out. I bet one of these is a VHS instructional tapes on how to fix broken pipes. Probably so. <laughs> uh, There's alcohol in there. All right, we'll figure something out. Demonstrate this thing works on the piece I just broke. Yeah. Right. Let me take this out, flip it around, and it ratchets the other way. And walk this thing back out. Alright. See? What's broken is now new ish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's more bird farm appropriate right there though. That's it, yeah. So that's as that's as good as I could get it. It's just uh, just a little conky. Well, that's fine. It'll be, it'll be a straight flow. Yeah. You're that's not it. you're not losing anything. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we brought the expert plumbers in. Where are they at? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we cut this one and uh Mr. Daniel's gonna try to thread the big rusty down there. Yeah. Big rusty, I'm gonna find something to lean on so I don't get tetanus. I've got my tetanus shot. I put I get my money's worth out of it out here. I was here. gonna say, yeah, you should yeah. The tetanus people use you for research. <laughs> right. Hoping this pipe's not too rusted. Yeah. It just breaks. So I've had that happen before too. It looks pretty crusty. Little looby dooby on the situation. Never hurt nothing. Alright, that pipe's actually gonna be in the way then. To pause the game for a second, kids. What you need? I gotta dig some more of this out. Mm -hmm. YouTube hate comments just rain down on me. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna get some. All right, we're almost there. Um, we'll work it down a little more with this file and get some more of those burrs off. We'll be able to start turning threads on it. Oh yeah, Uncle Jay said, hey. Hey, Uncle Jay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
That should be enough threads. Ooh. Oh boy, that's nice. It's a hot sauce bottle. Yeah, it is. Louisiana too. Some Good really, stuff. Some real hot sauce on that. Put a big old cut on my finger. Right. Sometimes it's it's hard to get the start. I may have to put some more threads on it. And fix that that top piece a little bit. No, look, I was lucky enough. I got enough threads on there on the half inch to get it, get the cuffing threaded on. And we just stobbed it up, put the spigot on there, and uh, it's gonna work. I like, again, the uh, the technique you used here for the maximum flow straight to the chicken coop, too. Yeah, yeah. That's a good deal. Well, now that I see as low as it is, it needs to be turned sideways anyways, or the hose will kink up when it hits the ground. Of course, it was intentional. Exactly. So yeah. everything I do is intentional, <laughs> except for that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Love to death. What hubcap? I think the car. Don't you have a Falcon? No, I had a Comet. Oh. The Falcon hubcap. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Millennium Falcon. The there you go. <laughs> can I keep this? You can have it. Yeah. He, he gets it honest. He's a junk man just like his dad. That's the payment for today, too. <laughs> yeah, I figured. In, in uh, junk. All right, good deal. Well, thank you, Daniel, for yeah, coming over here and mending, uh, mending my pipe. My chickens, thank you. The tomatoes do too. Hey, we need it. Everybody needs a little help every once in a while. That's right. All right, so now we need to fill this hole back in out here around this pipe and uh, then put one of these cinder blocks around it so we don't hit it again as we continue to clear through this room and uh, break it again. At least it's uh, PVC now, so the PVC will snap before any metal will, just in case. So, got that fixed. Chickens have water again. Now we'll. Uh, you know, do the, do the dirt thing. All right, there we go. Some kind of protection for now. You know, I'm sure in the future we will upgrade this. And uh, we may do away with this outside faucet right here. May do something else, but for now, it's there. We've got water for the chickens again, all sealed up. Um, I put this round cinder block around it so I wouldn't do the same thing again so I can see it add some stability to the pipe here too. Now, I've got lots and lots of these round cinder blocks and a lot of people come over and you know, like, I've never seen one like that before. So if you know what this block was made for, leave me a comment because I've seen so many of these, I just, I don't even think about them. But uh, there several people have commented about them. I don't know uh, what they are. If you know, comment down below. All right, water's fixed. Big shout out to Daniel for coming over here right away and fixing that. Chickens will be happy. So uh, thank you, Daniel. And uh, now we need to get back and uh, start cleaning the wall up.